This R. Askredit user asks. What was the longest minute of your life? Doing a plank. So underrated. Any time I'm doing weighted dead hangs. Waiting an unskippable ad that lasts one minute. May 25th, 1995. 6. 31 AM. The minute my mother told me my father had died. I was 15. I was 9 when my dad died. Now I am 15. Since then I cried about 3 times in total. I actually thought my grandpa with Alzheimer's died when I heard my mom cry on the phone. And I was kinda happy as I thought he suffered too much. Then she told me. It hit hard. But I got over it in the surface very fast. Like. In 20 minutes. Didn't cry on his funeral. I was just not able to. I was not even sad. I have just accepted the situation. I might have suffered some psychological trauma. But I DK. I'm so sorry. June 7. 1995. 6. 00 AM. Same story. I was 9. During that minute. My whole life collapsed. It took me more than 10 years to rebuild myself. I'm now happy. Strong and expecting my first children. With a little feeling of sadness that he will never meet his amazing grandfather. The last minute of the college lecture of the foreign trade subject. I'm a bit of an idiot. And I get lost in my head a lot. The longest minute I've had was three seconds that felt like at least an hour when I passed by a cracked out man outside my local dispensary who I could have sworn was a legitimate zombie. He was on his stomach. Army crawling toward the outlining fence and moaning. His head snapped up. His bone made this loud crack. And we made eye contact and he made this awful grunting noise and moved faster toward me. He was drooling and his eyes looked completely whitened out. Only a few seconds later and the guys from the dispensary were outside and asking him if he was alright but fk he scared the daylight out of me. I recognized him a moment later. I usually leave my empty cans for him and his buds to take. They're always in the area. Plank minute. If longer than a minute time stops or reverses. Ha 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 that's so true. My coach in high school made us do three minute planks but the team is convinced that either he made it longer to mess with us or the laws of time were bent to lengthen our suffering. I've done three minute planks for four to five times a week. Around a month and a half now. Still sucks equally much than when I started hate it with a passion. Time moves extremely slow. Being told by a visibly upset police officer that my younger brother had died in a road accident. Anytime I'm thrown into a no-win situation through snowboarding, biking, skateboarding, or dirt biking. When you're inevitably going to crash but your instincts kick in and you find the path of least damage. I'm a self-appointed fall artist. Finding the route to tuck and roll without taking damage. That moment always plays back in slow motion. I've amazed many friends with walking away from things they've seen others injured. Those moments seem to last forever but I can remember clearly why I chose my path. P happens in an instant but seems eternity. Stopping time with my yellow punching ghost. Didn't you know that talking is a free action? It was longer than minute. But the day my son was born. He came out. Let out a little whimper then went ashen gray. Then it was a good 10 minutes of them giving giving him CPR and intubating him before they got him stable enough for us to hold him for a few seconds before he was rushed to the NICU where he spent the next three weeks. As it turned out, he had underdeveloped lungs and a cardiomyopathy but he was totally fined after about 12 months of treatments. He's 17 now and towers over me. Wow glad he's okay. Did he suffer anything like asthma as he grew up? Did he need new lungs? Just curious. Was it genetic? He had asthma when he was small but that was genetics as it runs in my family. Had a seizure on the metro. I do have them occasionally. But this was a full on grand mall. Full body seizure. When I came out of it I was so confused. Didn't know what year it was. Didn't know where I was taking the train to. Barely remembered my name. 
there was an off-duty nurse on the train who tried to help me. But I was so confused and disoriented. She hit the emergency button on the other side of the car. Because all I could do was mouth, help me. But I couldn't express why or how or anything. So I scared the ST out of her. I barely remembered who I was. So scary. The final minute of the 2016 NCAA Men's College Basketball National Championship game. Getting blood taken. It's always quite short for me. They start drawing. I feel woozy and then it's smelling salts and it's all over. I'm not afraid of blood or anything I'm just one of these lucky people who always passes out when they have blood drawn. My doctor and her team and I have this down to a science now. It didn't take a full minute. But the moment between my daughter's birth and her first breath, cry. Seemed like time stood still tbh. My first ever minute in this world. The minute that my suicidal best friend was typing one night. I thought for sure it would be a suicide note. I've had that exact same experience. I know how you felt. It's terrifying. I hope it turned out well for them. I know I was two seconds from finding out how fast my car could go. Probably the first minute. Because at the time it amounted to 100% of my life. By the second minute. A minute amounted to 50% of my life. And was only half as long. By the 10th. It was 10%. Now every minute is less than 0.0001% of my life. Much less. So the first minute must have been the longest. Standing outside the bathroom waiting for my ex-girlfriend's pregnancy test result. I was pushing the remains of a teenager through my wood chipper when my neighbor leaned over the fence to ask if he could borrow some paint. The following minute seemed to stretch on for an hour as I had to calculate how I was going to pull him over the fence and into my basement without being seen. You were what? Did he need red paint by any chance? What? When? With our newborn daughter in neonatal intensive care. The doctor said. If her bilirubin continues to climb. She could have permanent brain damage. Quote. She's 19 now. Graduated in the top 10% of her class with a 4. 0 GPA. Was president of the largest club in her high school and leaves for college in Washington DC in August. That's awesome. That's by awesome. I wish her all the best. Some of my biggest cries came the moment the doctor came in and told me my son was improving. And could go home for real this time. I cried. Big cry. Tears on my hospital form kind of cry. Definitely if I don't want to sleep it's for. 59 to 5. Oh oh or 5. 59 to 6. Oh oh I know it's not what you asked for but they really do take a long as time lol. The time all my friends were talking about how stupid I was. Other than that. All my minutes have felt the normal 100 seconds. Criminal trial of a loved one. Sitting in the courtroom with every nerve in my body on fire as the jury filed in to deliver a verdict. What was the verdict and what did, didn't they do? When I was a firefighter. We pulled up to a car crash and I realized one of the cars involved was my sister's. The time it took to park the truck seemed like forever. Luckily. She was perfectly fine. DN. I'm glad she's okay. Waiting for my computer to update. The moment my daughter was born. Wife had a bad reaction to the anesthesia. After getting a C-section. Once the doctors had my daughter out she had trouble keeping her body temperature up. So middle of the OR they told me to rip my shirt off and hold her on my chest skin to skin to keep her warm. Those couple minutes felt like an eternity. During my college junior organ recital. I was in the middle of a fugue. Playing from memory. As required. And had a brief memory slip. Quote. For about three measures, I trilled in one hand until regaining composure and continuing on to conclude the piece correctly. During those three measures, time hung heavy as a sash weight. Slipping on a fugue terrifies me. 
because it's hard to get back into it. What piece was it? With the right confidence they'll just think you're showing off. Waiting outside the bathroom while my wife did a pregnancy test. When I heard crying I knew the answer. That probably needs context. We didn't want kids. At all. And it was positive. But DN is he a lil dude now. I've been on the other side of this. Wanting nothing but a positive. But crying every month it was negative. I'm happy to say now. I have two beautiful children, ages 6 and 2. I bet he was a cute little accident. There's no accident. Master Ogwe. Waiting to find out what the nurse who had a speculum in my VA was so engrossed in. Time ticked slowly by as she fished out a washer that had found its way up there due to me giving myself a lazy douche and removing the shower head to swill it out prior to a gynecological examination. I didn't even bother to explain. Fastest exit ever. Mortified. Getting a chest drain removed from my lungs. I had had the first part of a two-stage spinal surgery four days previously. In which they had drained and reinflated a lung. The chest drain was to avoid fluid getting into my lungs. When they removed it, they told me to breathe all the way out and hold my breath until they said not to. Took 10 seconds max but it felt like hours. The last time a leap second was added to the year a few years back. 11. 59 pm on December 31st. 2016. Wow look. Actual technical science why tech tech stuff. It's a tie between a CP ton of minuets. They're all 60 seconds for me. Time is always longer if you're really concentrating on the clock. My wife and I found out our first baby had died during our 10-week ultrasound. Also known as a silent miscarriage. Quote. Fast forward six months and we were having our 10-week ultrasound for our second pregnancy and it felt like an eternity to wait to hear that our baby was alive and healthy. In reality it probably was only a minute. We cried. It was such a relief. I've been there. And it sucks. I hope your baby has a long healthy life. It does. He's almost a year old now and doing great. I feel you. My wife had her appendix removed while pregnant with twins. Post-surgery holding her hand while we waited for them to find both heartbeats was grueling. Luckily the tech was super fast. Ads that you cannot skip and also my time during college. I hate Twitch for this. 30 second unskippable ads should not be a thing. The worst part is that ad block does nothing to stop them. Waiting for 12 AM to wish my friend happy birthday. Also planks they're the worst thing ever. During chemistry. Our teacher asked this guy whose seat was next to mine. Would you marry a Muslim woman? Quote. He shrugged and said. I mean. If it's the right person. Quote. That guy is my best friend. And I happen to be a Muslim woman. Yeesh. The awkwardness radiating from this. Also why would the teacher ask that in the first place? She was the type of teacher who would joke around with students and stuff. So maybe she was shipping us. IDK. When I commented on how weird that question was. My friend said. You're Muslim? I thought you were Arabic. Like yes bh I am an entire FG language. And that's when I realized that my friends are FG stupid. Where are you from though actually? I am from Algeria. I got permanently kicked out of my school my dad picked me up and we went home the lift ride up was long ASF but when I stepped inside the house I wanted it to be night time to sleep but the whole day took too long and finally I got called to go to the living room boy my AS got whooped but that's long gone my dad left us for another woman. When my youngest son was born. I had a C-section. Initially planned. But. Moved up by two weeks after a routine appointment the same day. The baby was measuring small for dates. I was showing signs of preeclampsia. And he was 37 weeks so my doctor decided to deliver while he was on call that night. Anyway. I'm in the OR and everything is going well. I felt them wiggle the baby out and. Nothing. Complete silence. 
I hear the clacking of the clamps on his cord and the nurses messing around, cleaning up but no sound from my son and my doctor wasn't talking. I am trying to keep my ST together and held my breath when I heard his punk AS cry. He was completely fine. Scored high on the APGAR. My OB said he was asleep through the delivery. He was just asleep. That's too cute. I didn't even know that could happen. That's so sweet. Albeit a little terrifying for the parents. The crying at birth is an attempt to circulate air into the now self-sufficient lungs as quickly as possible. The fact the infant was not crying sounds incredibly alarming. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos.